Hello everyone. How many of you how many of you by raising your hand know the people on the screen? It's true. They are very common. They are very famous. But do you know what they have in common? All of them are dead of pancreatic cancer. It's very, very sad news, but also raise the awareness of how little this disease can be. Unfortunately, cancer is the second cause of death in the world after the cardiovascular disease. And pancreatic cancer is the third common cause of death among cancer in the US. Actually, the survival rate for that is around 7%. It's just because it detects in the later stage. It's a very low number when you compare it with the breast cancer, which survival rate is 90%. So why this cancer is so deadly? To answer this question, let me, before that, give you a quick information about the pancreas. Pancreas is part of our digestive system and it produces insulin and hormones and enzymes which are vital to personal survival, which means damage to the pancreas gonna affect whole body. Back to the question that why pancreatic cancer is so aggressive for treatment. The first reason is the location. So the red color shows pancreas. It's hard to access you need to remove all of the organ in front to access to this, uh, to this organ, to access to the pancreas. And because of this, it prevents doctors um, for surgical removal, which is or normally done or routinely done for like, breast cancer. So the other thing, about the pancreas is it is resistant to the chemotherapy. Why? Because the pancreatic cancer tumor have low number of blood vessels. So if we inject drug to the will, it's gonna take it, it and the chance of getting to the tumor is very low. So but after these two bad news, I wanna give you a good one, hopefully. So as a molecular biologist, we are thinking about the core of disease. We are thinking about what happened in DNA, gene, and protein, and who played an important role. So in our lab, uh, we showed a protein which name is the KLF5, which is uh, actively participating in happening and developmental pancreatic cancer. And wonderfully, we were able to, our preliminary result confirmed that this, by inactivating this protein, the level of pancreatic damage goes down significantly. So I'm, I'm very happy to share with you that um, targeting this protein, it um, can be a promising uh, way to, for the pancreatic cancer trophy. Thank you.